students welcome back in the lecture of standard 8 today we are going to start a poem number 4 and this is the lecture number 1 students till time we have seen poem 1 2 and 3 and all three poems were very wonderful very interesting now as that much interesting this is the poem number 4 now the poet of this poem is the very famous person that is Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore has written wonderful poems which is having the things which we have to understand in life, right, which we have to implement in practical way in life. This is the poem number four that the last bargain. Generally whenever we are hearing the word bargain, so we are remembering that vegetable market or any kind of cloth uh, shops and we know that that we are saying that oh and the mother is doing bargaining the father is doing bargaining or the other people are doing bargaining right but this is <clears throat> here is not exact mean of that bargain so in that two parties are promising each other to complete their needs it means one person will work and opposite person will give something for an example if a person is doing job at a place so who the owner of the company or institute is there right he or she will be have to compulsorily give something right in as we are saying salary right so they have to give so generally in the initial way we have to understand the meaning of bargain in such a way that bargain is an agreement in between two person or two parties Right? To complete the needs of each other. Now here, there is a man who find who is finding the work. Now, many people will come and they will try to hire with some things. But this person will not go with that. Right? Why and how that we have to see in this poem. First of all, Whenever they are going on their walking, walking, walking. So, in one chariot, this person is able to see one king. We know that that king is having so much richness, right? It is having so much powers also, right? So, king is not having only the richness. It means only wealth, only money. It is not there. He is having the powers also. Why? Because he is the head of kingdom. If he want to, it means king want to hire someone, he can. He is having all the rights to do this. Right? So what he will do, he will try to hire this person. Right? He will try to hire this person by his powers. But the man is saying that, I don't like an agreement which always asking you to have that another thing. It means if I'm giving something, I'm not expecting something. So this is what a real agreement according to that man who is finding the job. It means he is thinking that can anyone is there who will hire me for nothing? And whatever I will do for him or her, I, I am not supposed to give anything. And he or she, they are not supposed to give anything to me. Will I get that person? Will I get any person like that? He is thinking for the sake. So first in the morning, the man is just able to see the king. King is going on on the chariot. King is coming to this man and saying that, that I want to hire you for powers. The man denied. Man is saying, no, that I cannot come with you as you want to hire me for powers, with powers. Now, by the time, by the time, the time is going on, the time is going on and it's afternoon. It's afternoon. In afternoon, one old man is just passing from the way. Right? And the old man is able to observe this man that this man is finding work he need work so he is going to that man and telling 
that I will hire you for with money, right? And he is coming with a bag which is full of gold. <clears throat> so what we will and we will think that that I know that if if uh, we will imagine and we will close our eyes and will imagine, definitely we will have uh, questions that why this person like it is like a fool. That if a person is coming with a bag of gold and saying that, that I want to hire you, then what a person need else? Right? So this is the best opportunity according to us that one person should get to go work. But here the mindset, here the thinking of the man who was finding the work was very different. Right. So here he is telling no to this old man also that I don't want to be hired by you. Right. It means whatever you are coming with bag of gold. Right. I don't want to be hired by you. In afternoon session, right. In morning king came in afternoon and old man came with bag of gold. Now one thing is very clear. If, if any person is coming to us and telling that, see, this is like five crores, five crores, and I will hire you and whatever I will tell that you have to do. On very first time, we will be very happy that I'm getting five crores, right? But this is like you are, it, it may be possible that we will... Or they will just snatch our freedom. Fir kya hoga? Then whatever they will tell, we have to do. Whatever they will tell, that we have to do. If they will say that you are not supposed to take your breakfast. So we are not supposed to take. Why? Because they have hired us. Right? In five crores. So this is what the person wanted that I don't want to be hired with the bag of gold by an old man. Now he is walking and walking and walking in the streets and he is going everywhere, everywhere. And finally, finally, he is reaching to one place in one garden, near one garden. And it was a time of evening. We know that, that in evening time, we all love to be in the garden. Why? Because it is a very pleasurable time. It is very pleasurable time in which sense that flowers are there, fruits are there, little plants are there, big trees are there, right? They are, the flowers are blossoming so that we love to be in the garden, right? Mm -hmm. If there is a lawn, all, all where you will find greenery, greenery, greenery. Right, so obviously, right, we are coming from the nature, so we love to be in the nature. So here in the evening time, the uh, this person who was finding a walk, he went near about one garden. There was one fairy maid. There was one fairy maid. Now we will have a question that what he will do with this fairy man, fairy maid. And what fairy maid will try to hire this person with? So here the man is just able to hear a few words that the fairy maid is telling that I want to hire you with smile. It means this is like very simple, right? That that she hasn't give much to this right and he will also have not to be paid extra so here this is what i think the best deal fairy maid is just telling that i will hire you with smile right so now i think that person should not be having any problem but it was evening time and then to that person told that i will not be hired by you and he is leaving the garden also. In the morning, king with power. In afternoon, old man with full of gold. In evening, 
a fairy maid with a smile. But he don't want it to be hired by any of these three. Now it is a time of night. The sun has gone and the moon has came in the sky. Now, now you see, it was a seashore. It was a coastal area. And a man is able to see a little child is playing at seashore. And that man is just going to the going to child, near to child. Child is seeing only one thing, and this whole the moral of depends upon that sentence. The child is saying, I will hire you with nothing. I'm not expecting anything from you. I will hire you with nothing. It means nothing I will give, nothing you have to give me. And this man is agreeing to the child and definitely I will be hired by you. Because you are not having any expectations. This is what something happening in our real life also. That whenever we are just paying something or we are having doing something, we always have lots of expectations, right? Sometimes we have to try that we have to hire any person for nothing and with nothing, right? We also let that person to be in freedom. So here we are completing the poem number four, that is the last bargain. In that only four things we have to remember. First is king. King wanted to hire with power. An old man wanted to hire with a bag of gold. And in evening time, a fair maid wanted to hire him for with smile. And last one, the last one, the child want to hire with nothing. Right? So this is what we have to try to implement in our life. Right here we are completing the poem number four, the last bargain. So be happy, stay happy and try to make everyone happy who are in your surroundings. Right? So goodbye, take care, have a nice day. Thank you. आभार